what is going on guys, the source fuck here today, back with the brand new FC25 Shadowcock Career Mode Season 2, Episode 5 for you guys today, already in the month of December in this second season, it is absolutely flying by, but in today's episode we do have two away games and a home game to complete the month of December, and yeah, so starting off we will go away to Union Berlin, currently sitting second in the league, and following that, we shall go away to Werder Bremen. And then the last game of this episode will be at home to Heidenheim. So, yeah, not been a bad start to the season after the game's played. 20 points. So, we're currently achieving that stand. I don't think we're not going to go down, are we? Really? Be realistic. I mean, what? I think we're doing pretty well in the league. Six wins, two draws, four defeats out of the 12 played. So, I think we're definitely staying up this year. I think we're definitely good enough to stay up this year terms of board objectives avoid relegation that is gonna pretty much probably happen continental success none with with a challenge wise we're doing well we just need to keep some more clean sheets at home in the league and um, we've signed a good player and we've already made money from the players we've signed so objective wise we're doing very well so yeah obviously we've been scouting players so we'll see how Look, we'll have to evaluate the squad, see how we can improve it going into the next season. But yeah, I mean, we could be pretty happy with the way things are played. Like I say, Union Berlin currently sit in a second. Werder Bremen down in 13th and Heidenheim just above the relegation playoff places. So yes, let's get straight into today's episode. Crescendo all week and very shortly it will be for real. We have all the action for you live. Football venue that simply oozes passion. We're here at the Stadion under Alten Försterei in Köpenick. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Union Berlin up against Schalke. Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch. intervention winning the ball back can they forge ahead oh brilliant goalkeeping and in the right position to read it a real opening now oh he really bruised the crossbar Origi and the keeper's hand does the trick bring possession well And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Cross towards that far post. What a great win. Origi. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. Can he finish them off? Tremendous defending to stonewall him. By two. With... Origi. Oh, a magical piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions. Who's going to get on the end of it? And under pressure, not on the target. As a victory for the visitors. Well, once again, they were so solid defensively. And of course, the back line get a lot of credit. But the players in front of them worked so hard to close the opposition down. It just makes the defenders' job that much easier. It's another clean sheet.
us for another game live on EA TV. I'm Guy Mowbray and Sue Smith is alongside me for commentary. And we've got action for you from the Bundesliga today. It's Werder Bremen and they take on Schalke. Thanks, Guy. Well, both managers will be reminding the players that it's important to get off to a quick start, really attack the opposition and put them on the back foot from the off. Hopefully we'll get a good game. position this oh my goodness what a strike from so far out that's absolutely sensational well it did look threatening today would you agree that He'd certainly get good marks so far. Yeah, he's played well, hasn't he? Obviously took his goal well, but his overall performance has been impressive too. Hopefully he can maintain that level in the second half. Well, no surprise. And this could be. Oh, that's not properly away. But it's in at the second time of asking. It's inexcusable. Well, this is all about the press from the... Moving forward well. And that is a vital piece of defending. And the referee has given a penalty. All this... That's a really poor kick. It's put into the right area, but nobody able to capitalise. Livered into the box. And a really good bit of golf. And it's in! And they'll want to get the... ...for them to take away, not least the three points, Sue. Yeah, it was a close game. Lots of energy from both sides. Quite evenly matched, weren't they? But I think they deserved the results overall. As we know, he can be a real handful, and he's certainly been that today. Yeah, I think the only thing that you could question is whether he could have been a bit more clinical in front of goal. Maybe should have had two or three today. Regardless, though, it was a good performance, and the result to match. And of the moment, in imperious form, and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? So it's a rich in football tradition. We're in Gelsenkirchen. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Schalke versus Heidenheim. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. down as a 4-5-1. Firing at 
towards goal. And the keeper's hand does the trick to the advanced position. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. It has to be. Squanders the chance for 1-0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. And they brought it in. They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. want to see him have a go can he take advantage and there's the feed into the box Brilliant. and possibilities here trying his luck oh and it goes and that is simply vivacious on the volley take a bow take several bows the degree of difficulty was high but you wouldn't know it for them and that's a very good pattern he's beaten his man and a goal he's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form the keeper has no time to react what a good finish poor man but getting underneath it ever so slightly. Has a go. Oh, great block. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know. But it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space, and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more. So there we have it, the end to the episode, and it's been a very positive one. Three wins from three, nine points from nine. Absolutely fantastic. Surprised we did actually get all nine points from this episode. It could have gone a different way. I mean, starting off with the Union Berlin game, we had nine shots to Berlin's zero shots. And we only won one nil. It was a very tough game in the snow. And yeah, I mean, we just missed a lot of chances, didn't we? But for a team second in the league not to have any shots does worry me a little bit. But we did force five saves from their goalkeeper. I mean, they had 75% of the ball and we only had 25%. Yeah, well, I mean, we missed chances. Divock Origi did get the crucial goal in the 72nd minute, which gave us the victory. But I'm sure the possession thing is only really down to the Gigan press because we do press high up the pitch and we do push teams back and we are forcing teams to just pass around but it's a bit worrying that they didn't have any shots so moving on to the Werder Bremen game and we nearly bottled it and uh, we, we took a nice nice lead but Werder Bremen did get a consolation goal late and then get a second goal late on but we managed to see out the victory but yeah we had nine shots there five our youth academy player that we promoted Frank did give us the earlier goal in the 18th minute and then followed very quickly followed by that was a Florian Coleman wonder strike absolute beauty all the credit out there for that bending effort he put in the far corner absolute wonderful strike and yeah we were tuned it up and then we got into the second half and Silla did give us the 3-0 in the 66th minute which is again was very nice and I thought all oh, very comfortable here but then they got a goal back and then they got a a second goal late on and we've just managed to see out it 3-2 victory so again away from home nice victory then the home game against Heidenheim dominated just what can we say great performance dominated 31% of the ball we had 69% of the ball for them and again this is what I mean the Gigan press we were high at the pitch we're pushing teams back once again we had 11 shots Heidenheim had zero shots I mean, we, in, we we made 46 tackles, we intercepted the ball well, we forced four saves from the goalkeeper. Divock Origi in the 29th minute, giving us a 1-0 lead, before Karaman made it 2-0, and then he met in the 45th minute, just before half-time again, that was, a, that was a good goal. And then the goal in the second half was nice as well, in the 57th minute, to make it 3-0. And yeah, I mean, 
again, just fantastic. We made 46 tackles. We put a lot of pressure on them. Hyde and Hyde are obviously towards the bottom of the league. The 17th there. But in terms of our league position, we are actually up in 5th. This is better than what I expected going into the season. Yeah, so three big games. Well, three games done. Nine points, nine from nine. We can be very happy. And, yeah, I mean, obviously we're above Bayern Munich by three points. So they're there and a poor start to their season, considering that they are the defending champions in the league. But, yes, thanks for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed. And I'm out for this episode. Peace.